Welcome everybody. Today um, my lesson is going to be brought to you from um, Kid Gloves out in the Valley. What's the address again, Kim? It's 1663 East Los Angeles Avenue in Simi Valley, California, 93065. We're going to be demonstrating some techniques from the um, Silverback system, which is the same as any other grappling system. Silverback JJW stands for Silverback Judo, Jiu Jitsu, and Wrestling. Um, I have 19 years experience in all those different grappling systems. And I'm bringing to you some of the finer techniques which I believe will help anybody in any skill level. It's more so geared for heavyweights, but it'll work in all different skill levels. Remember this, a fight is just that, a fight. It's a struggle. So, we want to keep this in mind when we fight. We want to use the simplest and easiest techniques in the most effective manner. And we're going to do that, and we're going to have a little fun doing it. So, uh, and we admire the feedback, so make sure you blog us, okay, at silverbackjjw.com. And we will answer any questions that you have for us. Alright? Thanks and enjoy what you see. Alright, we're gonna work on like, some transitional drill. I'm training my friend Kyle here. He's gonna help show you. So Kyle, get on your back. You should work these on both left side and right side always. So just do a basic transition. I'm gonna come in, I have them pinned, basic pin. When you pin, make sure you're chest to chest, that way you get the most weight on it. Make sure one knee is close to the head, one is either close to the rear, that's where it's blocking any movement. Now what I want, what Kyle's gonna do is just a basic, he's gonna roll in towards me. For this transition to work, so roll in towards me Kyle, I can't let him do this and I'm still here. I'm gonna have to move before he gets this far into it. So normally, when he rolls, I can feel him. He goes to roll now, look, I'm already up. Hips are up first, sliding in for my transition. As I transition, I don't worry about the hands first, I worry about them secondary. I want my hips to move first. So, roll into me again, hips first, my hands are still planted. I'm coming in. I got my legs in position first. Now I go to grab. Because if I grab first, I'll miss him. If I do this, he's going to still roll. This doesn't stop his roll. So I have to use hips first. I have to. Roll into me, I'm there. Okay. Now let's say, it doesn't stop here. Remember, grappling is a full roll. So Kyle does another roll. He rolls opposite where, whichever, just move. If it's too much, why my pin can't hold him? Well, that's simple. Hips up again, transition back. All right? He moves again. I want to contain him. Hips up, bam. All right? We just covered middle, front, back. Now the exercise. All right, to work this and get really good at transition, I've come up with this drill. Hands out, hips in good position. Not allowed to use your hands, just allowed to move your hips. Kyle's gonna give me enough resistance where I can move. So right now, go ahead and just start moving. I'm moving just hips. Keep I don't use my hands. I transition, I can use my elbows. I keep weight on them. Just transition with all hips. Keep moving, Kyle. This helps you feel where you need to be. As he moves, I need to get enough weight. And I should be able to hold him at least 30 seconds with just not even using the hands. I come over if I need to. Still not using my hands. I'm over. I go around the world. I'm just transitioning. He's in. Still not using hands. My hips are being very sensitive. That's what I want. I move my hips, move my hips. Everything is hips first. Hands aren't there, like I said. Hips are first. Can't use a hip, even pull hips. Hips are moving.